Hello and welcome to this quick video looking at something new from T-Motor. This is their Freestyle Power Combo. It's available in lots of different versions and I saw this, I thought this is interesting, let me have a look at this. Because I like T-Motor stuff, I've used it in other quad builds that I've done on the series, I've used it on planes and wings and other things too. They have value motors, they have kind of professional grade, they make them for planes, wings, VTOLs, multi-rotors, everything. They also now do lots of things like speed controllers, which they've done for a while, but now they're getting into things like flight controllers and stuff as well. And one of the big things that you can do to make your build go as smoothly as is humanly possible, and hopefully you've kind of seen this from things like the Quad Building for Beginners series that I did a year ago. If you choose the right components, things go incredibly smoothly, everything just works. So it's really interesting that Team Motor have come up with this bundle. But looking at the website, it's available in lots of different things. You can have different motor KVs. This is uh, designed around 6S setups. I hope they do setups like this for 4S, but also things like 7, 8 and 8 inch stuff as well. That would be great. But this, looking at it, comes with all the pieces that you would need in terms of the main electronics to put a nice little quad together. The only things you'd need are going to be adding a frame, FPV gear, receiver, and your battery. So I thought it would be fun to just unbox this, have a look what comes in here, and have a look at the different components, because it's nicely boxed all together. So for one price, you get all the pieces, and it does seem that to buy all the pieces separately is a little bit more expensive, which is great. It means that you can kind of buy all the bits in one go. So let's actually look what this looks like inside. I do like boxes like this where they've put a little bit of thought and effort into it. It kind of makes you feel like you're getting something a bit, little bit fab. Okay, so lots of bits of paper. Okay, flight controller manual. Um, all this stuff is on the website as well. Um, I did have a look while I was waiting for this to arrive. Um, so that's good. ESC pads and other pieces too. Okay. We have a piece of foam on the top to protect everything. Oh, cool, you even get the props. Some obligatory stickers to put everywhere. A quality pass piece of paper. Um, that actually does mean something with T-Motor. I'm sure with some of the things that I get in here, the QC bit of paper just gets stuck in by a machine or it just gets showered on the boxes like confetti. But I, I actually believe that somebody's checked this. So what do we get? Well, we obviously get a set of props. Um, is this a double tray? Hang on. <laughs> it is. Okay, so on the top deck, we have our first lot of props. We have the flight controller and the ESC with a warning around it. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Underneath that, then, we have our four motors, our second set of props, bag of screws, as well as things like your prop nuts. Awesome. We have the vibration isolating mounts and all the cables for the flight controller. We have an XT60 on a decent bit of nice silicone covered wire. Good, and it's, an, it's a proper XT60 as well. Fabulous. What's in here? Uh, okay, this is probably mounting hardware for the motors. Then we have our second set of props. So let's go through these things and have a quick look at a little bit more detail. The flight controller in this box is an F7 Velox SE. So this has 128 meg of black box, analog and HD FPV are supported, six UARTs, Bluetooth wireless adjustment via the SpeedyB app. I love, we're starting to see that on non-SpeedyB flight controllers now. It's such a fantastically useful thing. 426 gyroscope, uh, GPS that includes I2C pins, so that means that it could support an external compass, um, USB-C, so, you know, a, a good meat and two veg kind of flight controller, and it's based on F722, I think the processor is, so that's going to hopefully be supported for quite a long time. In terms of the 4-in-1 ESC, comes with this bit of warning around the outside. Uh, this is 3 to 6 S support uh, made to match the Velox motors that we'll look at in a moment. 50 amp continuous, 60 amp burst, and um, beta flight parameters for all this are on the website. 
quite a nice size a little bit bigger than some because you have the pads sticking out on the side it's going to be kind of your standard 30 by 5 mounting and it looks like it's your standard kind of cable coming down from the flight controller on the top but that's quite a cute little stack then we have the props and then the other thing in here of course oh hang on there's a cap excellent there's a cap i would definitely recommend if you're using more than 4s uh, put a cap on your model actually you know what if even if you're using 4s stick it on anyway the electronics will love you okay and here are the motors these are kind of their more cheap and cheerful motors let's put it like that these are the velox v3s available in two different versions the 2207 and the 2306 i have got the 2207 here anodized to go along with the other bits and pieces they feel very nice again even even the cheaper motors from t-motor feel really nice but these yeah these feel pretty good available in both 1750 and 1950 kv and the motor wire isn't bad let me just see how long that motor wire is motor wire from the side is about 15 centimeters so that's going to be fine for your kind of most of the five inch builds particularly as the esc have has the pads slightly externally on there as well so i just thought this would be interesting to get in and have a look at this is actually quite a nice little kit and for one price you basically get all of your main flight electronics and all of the extra pieces that you need. The other thing you're gonna to need to add is obviously a frame. Um, personally, I, at the moment, like the Speedy B frames. I'm a real big fan of those. Um, you'll see them in lots of different things that I do here. I think they're incredible value for money, but there's lots of options around for there for that. An HD system, a battery, 6S battery uh, for something like this, and and probably a receiver, most of which will be Express LRS if you're building something new these days. But I'll put links below if you're interested in this. If you have any questions, do let me know. But that is actually quite a lot of technology and it's all matched and put together for about 120 pounds. That's pretty impressive. I do hope they now make these kinds of things for both smaller models and match everything together like this but also potentially for things like seven eight and above inch quads so you get everything you need with one simple purchase well done team motor impressed thank you for watching my video check out the playlist and adding painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.